my own uh, place here in the parish, I found myself reflecting with them. What an incredible blessing it is uh, to be with Father Roy, Father Tristan, Deacon Eddie, uh, three exceptional people, uh, really dedicated uh, to what they do, and you get to see that very close up when you share the presbytery with them. So they're a great inspiration and a great encouragement. And beyond that, uh, the deacons that we're blessed to have in the parish, uh, the volunteers that we have in the parish. Incredible generosity, incredible gifts, incredible uh, people using their time for the building up of the kingdom and for the support of their brothers and sisters. I ramble through all this because, as I say, it was triggered by hearing the words of uh, the, the reading, I constantly give thanks to God for you. And it's more than simply thanking God that uh, uh, I live uh, in the midst of a, of a wonderful community or with great priests or whatever it may be. The reading actually focuses on the fact that it's the gift of faith which is being celebrated. As soon as you heard God's uh, word, God's message, you took it for what it was. I think that's which marks out uh, my experience uh, of the people that I live and work with, including, uh, of course, yourselves. It's that sense of a real faith and a real prayer, as witnessed by the fact that you, we gather together this evening in order that we, in our turn, might give thanks to God for the great blessings that he has given us and we might pray for one another, praying that others who do struggle in whatever way uh, with the life, with the challenges they face, may know the strength that comes from that presence of God which we share with them through this time of prayer. It's that strength which comes from God which gave Mary the confidence in her reply. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Abide with us, the orb of day doth vanish. Thou light of light, the powers of darkness banish. At even fall, good Lord, thy people bless. Shine in our hearts, thou Son of righteousness. For this past day, let every creature living ascribe thee glory, honour, and thanksgiving. Let man, together with the angel host, bless God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesu, good shepherd, thou who never sleepest, but o'er thy sheepfold watch and ward who keepest. The day is spent, it draws to eventide, with thy disciples, Lord, this night 
abide. You are the fairest of the children of men and graciousness is poured upon your lips. My heart overflows with noble words. To them as king I must speak the song I have made. My tongue as nimble as the pen of a scribe. You are the fairest of the children of men and graciousness is poured upon your lips because God has blessed you forevermore. O mighty one, gird up your sword upon your thigh in splendour and state ride on in triumph for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Take aim with your bow in your dread right hand. Your arrows are sharp, peoples fall beneath you. The foes of the king fall down and lose heart. Your throne, O God, shall endure forever. A scepter of justice is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love is for justice, your hatred for evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness. Above are the kings, your robes are fragrant with aloes and myrrh. From the ivory palace you are greeted with music. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the fairest of the children of men, and graciousness is poured upon your lips. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord, pay homage to him. And the people of Tyre shall come with gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favour. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendour, her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted to make gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Sons shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the earth. May this song make your name forever remembered. May the peoples praise you from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out and meet him. God planned to bring all things together under Christ when the fullness of time had come. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God planned to bring all things together under Christ when the fullness of time had come. We constantly thank God for you because as soon as you heard the message that we brought you as God's message, you accepted it for what it really is, God's message, and not some human thinking. And it is still a living power among you who believe it. Let my prayer come before you, O Lord. 
Let it rise in your presence like incense. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let my soul proclaim your greatness forever, O my God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let my soul proclaim your greatness forever, O my God. Let us give thanks to Christ our Lord, who loves and cherishes his church. Be near us, Lord, this evening. Lord, grant that all may be saved and come to knowledge of the truth. Be near us, Lord, this evening. Protect Pope Francis and Richard, our bishop. Help them, Lord, in your strength and mercy. Support those who meet with difficulty and disappointment. Renew their confidence and sense of purpose. Christ, our loving Lord, in your kindness be with the sick and the poor, the weak and the dying. Bring them your comfort. We commend to you all those who in their lifetime shared in the sacred ministry. Let them praise you forever in heaven. invited to continue our prayer for the people uh, in the the Ukraine and in Gaza. We pray that across the world there may be justice and peace. Agnes Jackson asks us to pray for the soul of Neil Marshall on this, his third anniversary. We pray that he may rest in peace. There's a call to the hospital this afternoon. We pray for the lady who has received the sacrament of the sick, and particularly as she, she wanted uh, that sense of knowing the community is praying with her. Our seminarians uh, sent, spent uh, much of today uh, with Bishop Richard. We give thanks that we have five people who give their lives so generously to the Lord. We pray for them as their formation continues. Continue to our prayer for Nicholas Flack and for his family as they prepare for his funeral. We pray too for Peter Hutley his wife Anne, partly in thanksgiving for all that they have done over the years as witness to the faith, particularly through Wintershaw. The noise from downstairs, which you may hear, encourages us to continue our prayer for the young people of our parish, that they may grow in faith. We give thanks for those who support and encourage them. And in the light of the pastoral letter yesterday, we pray for the diocese as the bishop uh, reflects on on all that he has heard across the diocese and on the plan for the future. May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit, 
that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All powerful God, since you've given us, your unworthy servants, the strength to work throughout this day, accept this evening sacrifice of praise as we thank you for your gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for sharing your time and your prayer this evening. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Pius, pray for us. Saint Edward, pray for us.